What's up guys? Welcome to the very first day of a full week of Let's Play Mario Kart 8. I'm loving this game. It's taking over my weekend. It's taking over my life pretty much. Um, as you can see there at the bottom right, all the trophies I got um, so far. I got a few bronze ones still. I got to knock out that gold, but you know, I was shaking off the rust. Shaking off the rust at first. So, let's see. Who do we... What do we want to get? I'm going to leave my best foot forward here. Yoshi seems to be my, my dude right now. Um, but I'm going to be showing off throughout the week in these Let's Plays um, all the different characters I unlock and uh, all the different maps and all the different car modifications and everything that we get. So that's going to be the idea here. And, you know, we'll have some fun. We'll have some fun conversations along the way. I think I showed you most of these ones in the first video um, in special attack so let's do something different let's go with uh, let's do the leaf cup now I got a copyright notice um, in the special attack episode for Mario Kart 8 where apparently there was some kind of copyright issue with the um, one of the tracks in one of the levels so I don't know I don't know what songs are, are going to be allowed to be played during the game. I don't know what songs are going to be not allowed to be played during the game. But, um, you know, I'm just going to go for it <laughs> for you guys. And uh, I guess we'll see what gets cut and what doesn't. So, here we go. A couple of pro tips right off the back here that I learned. Um, just a few pointers if you're looking to get a little better at this game. You want to, whoever, whoever your guy is going to be, whoever you pick that you like the best, you're going to want to really learn his weight. Oh my god, Yoshi. Oh my god, he's busting out the moves here. Uh, you're going to want to learn the ins and outs of like, you know, their different, their different cart variations, their different weights, because, you know, it really affects a lot of the game. Oh, you son of a... Son of, uh, it really affects a lot uh, during these races. So yeah, definitely whoever your guy's gonna be, you're gonna want to like really get into detail of like as far as like when you need to drift and when you need to just try and turn without drifting. Which leads us to pro tip number two: uh, you don't always want to drift. Some there's gonna be some t you're gonna get so used to drifting. That you think you got to drift around every turn to get that little extra boost you get from drifting. But, uh, there's going to be some turns that you're just going to want to take without drifting. And I think that is, this seems to be where a lot of people are going wrong when I play online. Um, I'll notice that everyone's just really sticking to that drift because it's there now. Um, but as, like this turn right here, you're not going to want to drift that. You'll, you'll fly right off the edge just like I did last time. So, you know, you got to use your best judgment. Um... A third pro tip I would say is, hmm, I had a few things I wanted to, I had a few things I wanted to shout out here. Let's think back, think back, old DZ. We told you about, oh, not today, Toad, not today. Oh, uh, pro tip number two, or pro tip number three, right there. If you're in first place and there's someone behind you and you see a first place shell coming, drop back. Just drop on back. Hit that brake and let them take the hit and then pull forward. It's cheap. It's dirty. And that's how you got to play Mario Kart. Like a cheap, dirty son of a gun. This game brings out the worst in me. Okay? Let's just get that, let's get that straight right now. I'm not myself when I play Mario Kart. I, I turn into a, a vicious, cutthroat human being. And that's how you got to do it. That's probably pro tip number four, really. If there is a fourth, I would say be as cutthroat and vicious as possible. Even if you're playing with friends and family, forget them. Forget about them. They're nothing to you when you play Mario Kart. Drop them like a hot potato. You got to play to win. You know what I mean? Shaking the rust off there. We got Yoshi had, a, Yoshi had a, a decent start, but we can do better. So, um... You know what I want to talk about here while we're playing? I want to talk about E3. E3 is coming up 
uh, I think what is it this this weekend or next Monday I think so it's coming up I know that much um and I've just been thinking about like what games am I excited for and what games I'm excited to see more about and hear more about because it seems after these consoles dropped uh, whatever Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo for that matter too whatever they whatever they're doing over there they're playing it really close to the chest um, so let's see Sony has Drive Club they've got the order which just was delayed until 2015 I think so I, I don't expect we're gonna be hearing too much about that uh, an uncharted which is just a mess if you've been following uh, any of the Sony PlayStation news over at the studios naughty dog of it man I don't know I, I hope they I hope they get their stuff sorted out I know lots of this happens you know this happens especially when there's a change in in management in which Jack Jack Trenton's gone and a couple other people have left so you know, I'm not saying I'm not saying Naughty Dog is doomed or anything like that. Obviously, we see they're capable of turning on just some great stuff. You got The Last of Us remaster coming to PS4. I'm I'm gonna check that out for sure. But um, anyway, got, got a little derailed there. So that's about it for Sony first-party exclusives. I mean, I'm hoping they'll have some surprises for us. You know, I'm hoping we'll hear something about I don't know maybe. Maybe some kind of God of War game. I, I don't think we're going to hear anything about Infamous. Um, I, th I think Sucker Punch is going to be looking to move on, at least for now, from the Infamous games, which I'm, which I'm totally cool with. I love the Infamous games, but I'm ready to see what else that studio can do. Um, but yeah, that, that's really all I know of. It seems like... As far as first party exclusives are concerned, that uh, Microsoft, it's really looking the best for them right now. Um, I don't own an Xbox One. I own an Xbox 360. That was actually my primary. Ah. Oh, yeah. Get it, Yoshi. Get it, Yoshi. That was my uh, primary console to game on before the new gen consoles came out. So, I'm not too familiar with, like, what Xbox One has going on. I know that Sunset Overdrive by Insomniac Studios looks amazing. I really... It's going to be tough not to play that. I'm, I'm hoping something happens. Maybe maybe PC that will come out. I don't know, but... Oh, you son of a... You son of a gun. Um, Sunset Overdrive looks amazing. And I don't know. Maybe we'll hear something about Gears of War from Microsoft. I don't know. I just... Everyone seems to be real hush hush about what they got going on. Um, and as far as Nintendo's concerned, I'm sure everybody knows by now they're they're going the uh, untraditional route and not doing a uh, press conference at E3, which I believe uh, this is one of my favorite stages. I really hope they don't. Uh, I really hope they don't hit me with some copyright BS because the music in this uh, stage is awesome so yeah I don't know what Nintendo's got going on I mean I tell you now's the time now's the time to unleash whatever they've been holding back over there because they got Mario Kart 8 here just came out everybody loves it I'm, I'm just hearing nothing but good things from all different outlets Game Informer scored it very well IGN scored it very well um, so yeah, they've, they've got some positive buzz going for them. Oh, that's a nice drift, if I do say so myself. Uh, so yeah, they got some positive buzz going for them. And I think now's the time. I think now's the time for Nintendo to unleash the beast, as it were. Let's see some Smash Brothers. Let's see this HD Zelda game they've been talking about. It's time. If they want to, if they want to stay in this race, they can't afford to have a, a lackluster E3. They really need to make something of this this video press conference that they're holding in light of a uh, or in lieu of a uh, traditional press conference, rather. So, what are some games? Um, what are some games you guys are looking forward to? I would love to hear it. Um, let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. I want to know what everybody's getting hyped up for. I want to know what everybody's getting excited for. 
Um, I always love E3, you know? Even even if there's even if there's nothing like super huge that I'm that I'm looking forward to seeing. I know last year was big, I mean new consoles were coming out. Uh, Sony was coming out swinging, Microsoft was was trying to figure out what they were doing still. Um they switched a lot of things around. It was uh, uh, last year's E3 was really exciting. Oh, you son of a bitch, Wario. You dirty yellow wannabe son of a bitch. I don't like Wario. Not one bit. Oh! Get out of here, Bowser. You trickster. You big old trickster. Um, but I always love watching E3. I love watching it regardless of what games are coming and not coming. It's just fun. It's a. Uh, it's the one time of the year where I feel like the gaming community is sort of on the same page. Everybody feels like some some kind of excitement. I mean, we can all just like put aside the critiques and the and the trolling and the hate for like a few days and just get excited about video games. That's why we're all here, right? That's why everyone's on here on watching YouTube videos about games. That's why everyone's writing in the forums and message boards and going on their favorite game sites. Because we love games, so. Oh my god, come on. I'm, not, I'm really not bringing the heat today, you guys. What's going on with me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't blame Yoshi. I think Yoshi's got things under control. I blame my thumbs. And I blame my controller. Yeah, I blame my controller for sure. It's definitely not my fault. Um, so I would love to hear what games you guys are excited about seeing. We could talk about that. Um, let's talk about what third-party studios are up to. That's probably going to be where the real excitement is, I'm thinking. Oh, I love this. I love this stage. This is from uh, N64. Yoshi... What did, what did that just say? Yoshi Valley? I love it. So good. Oh, here's another here's another pro tip for you. I'm sure I'm sure everybody who plays Mario Kart pretty much knows this, but if you want to get that little boost in the beginning, the exact time you need to do it is a split second after you see the number two pop up on your screen. Hit the gas. You'll get that boost every single time. I can't even exaggerate about that. I I get the boost when I'm trying to. I get the boost every time. It's it's a lock right after the two comes up. So yeah, write that down if you like. Anywho, the third party studios is where I think we're going to see some real action uh, at this year's E3. Come on, what are you doing? Get out of the grass, you crazy dino. You crazy old dinosaur. I'm up here all by myself. Let's take a look back there. Yeah, we're cruising. We're just going to cruise right through this, this one. I think this one's ours, guys. I know it's early on, but I'm feeling real confident about it. Um, so, yeah, you know what I'm really looking forward to seeing, uh, third party wise, is that the, the division, I don't know if you guys remember it, but I know they've been kind of quiet about that since its announcement, um, the division looks cool, man. I'm not really one for, for online or multiplayer co-op stuff, I play a lot of my games, I mean, you know, I, I enjoy playing with friends, I, but I play most of my games solo when I'm home and free. I, I don't have, I don't have too many friends who are that big on games, uh, other than like you guys, and I consider you guys my friends for sure. Um, but you know, like people I hang out with and stuff, my girlfriend, and everything, everybody like that, they're, like they 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 enjoy video games, but they're not, um, you know, they're not as passionate as uh, people like people like us feel about them so I tend to play a lot of games by myself um, but I'll tell you that the division just looked beautiful it looked like that was the first game last year where I felt like oh, okay this is a next-gen game um, it looked really cool I just love the whole idea of having to survive and there's no zombie apocalypse it's just it's just humans you have to survive and like outwit and outbattle other humans who have also survived whatever whatever catastrophe has happened. I don't think they said what exactly uh, caused the end of humanity, but oh come on, come on! I really thought I was gonna have first this one, but that game looked great. 
Uh, I'm really excited to check that out. I'll tell you what I'm most excited to check out right now. My number one most anticipated game right now. Uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Let's check out this highlight reel before we uh, before we call it here. Yeah, Batman Arkham Knight is the game I must see at E3. If, if they don't pull out some kind of gameplay demo footage, I'll be so disappointed. Um, I'm, I'm, I need to see some of that Batmobile action, guys. It looks so good. When I found out they were putting the Batmobile in that game, I was my jaw was just on the ground. I was so happy. They finally are doing it. Um, check out that. Check out that. Check out Donkey Kong's fur there. Like, kudos on the detail there, Nintendo. He looks great. Uh, yeah. I, w I want to see some Batman Arkham Knight. That game looks ridiculous. I know they said a lot of stuff about, um, it's just going to be a seamless next-gen experience. There's going to be minimal loading screens. You're going to be going from your car to the rooftops. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the Arkham games, and that's one. I'm just so happy to see Rocksteady uh, back at the helm. Um, so yeah, again, let me know what you guys are excited to see at E3. Um, thank you for checking out the first day of our Let's Play Mario Kart 8 week. Uh, please remember to like the video. Please remember to share them with your friends if you enjoy it. You know what? Even if you didn't enjoy it, share it with your friends because maybe they'll enjoy it. You know what I mean? So, please remember to subscribe. Also, if you like, you can find me on Twitter. It's at the beast underscore NJ. You could also find me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash the beast NJ. Um, if you ever want to catch a live stream. So, tune in tomorrow. We'll be back with another cup and some new characters to look at. Uh, and we're going to be doing this all week. So, yeah, come on back. And thank you guys very much for watching.